soul ties. No. I feel like that's just some made up bullshit everybody just used to try to latch on to people. No, for all that soul tie shit, once we done, we done. I don't care if you know me. We not connected by the soul. You do some wrong, you can kiss my ass and you can get the phone. We is not tied by nothing. All right. So they say, do you believe in soul ties? But on question say, I don't care if you blow a load up in me, you can keep it moving. Look at the messenger. Oh. Miss Miss Soul bound and tied herself. Look look at the messenger. That that is not a a, a feminine, nurturing, loving woman. That's a man with a vagina. I'm telling y'all, what's going? On. This is sick work. So you got that woman near, and there's another one. This guy here, they doing these little truth for dare thing. These are modern women. These women, these these the women, Doctor Umar, are telling y'all to wipe up. All right. I done seen some of these. This is wicked. <laughs> uh, for there, true. What's up, body count? If I tell you, you don't want to keep quit playing me. I don't want to kill you. I don't know you. Mm, honestly, honestly, what count like this? I like because I don't like. Overall, everything, everybody. Boy, I'm in the hundreds. I don't play. You in the hundreds? I don't play. Why are you in the hundreds? Cause I'm a nympho. I love to. You don't just want to have sex with one person, or you? That should get boring. Truth or dare? True. Here we are, man. Yeah. She 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 said you want me to count the men I like or the men I don't like? Do they count too? If they do, I'm in the hundreds. I'm in the hundreds. She said I don't play. <laughs> I don't play. She said, he said, you don't want to be the same guy. He said, that get boring. I likes to F. Where did, where that clip? I likes to F. That's why I'm here. I'm a nympho. Where the meat's at? <laughs> Is that not terrifying to y'all? You know, somebody asked, you know, what dog we got in this fight? We got sons and daughters. I be doggone if I don't warn my son about this caliber of woman. I be daggone if I don't. I'd be daggone if my son come home with a hyena with her hands in my son's pockets. It ain't going to happen. And in his pants. <laughs> it's wicked. That's so here we go. Bring Heathen Queen back up. Listen, we get your take on the Heathen Queen. What's your take on these modern Haracha Tangs? These women are off the hook. That's terrible. I would be, look, let me, let me, let me say this. I went home to my home state. My son lives in my home state. He tried to introduce me to this girl and the, and it was a white girl. This is a long time ago, white girl. And do you know, he said, this is my mother. And do you know the girl said deuces just like that to me? She went, instead of saying a word, she didn't speak a word, she didn't say, she was that he was standing outside the car. I, I drove up in my rented car, you know, to, to, to pick him up or take him or whatever, or yeah. take, take both of them. And then he said, Oh, he said, blah blah blah. This is my mom right here, blah blah blah. And she did just like this. Yep. I said, <gasps> Oh hell no. I was like, son, I gotta, you know, I want to go visit your sister. You know, on the other side of town, mm -hmm. I be back, blah blah blah. I was like, "Ain't no way." When ain't I got no away, from him, when I got away from him, uh, you know, and I got to my daughter's house, I called him on the phone, and I was like, "I don't know what you're doing, and I don't, I don't care what you're doing, but that is no way to that is no way to introduce your girlfriend to your mother." Yo, okay. your son, your son got him a ratchetan. He just trying to clap them cheeks. I was like, what? And they, yeah, they they broke up soon after that. But she yeah. threw up the deuces to That's me. And wicked. I was like, no way. You don't understand that that was the wrong thing to do? Or no, they do. Straight disrespect. Absolutely. Oh, what is it? Can you blame the society? When these people, you know, sexy red and all these Sukianas. When we ain't checking them at the door and everybody else think this stuff is acceptable. So that stuff is unacceptable. That is no that is no decorum for that is nothing for a woman to introduce herself and throw deuces up or say anything out of pocket. I was like, 
she he said this is my mom and she did just like that and i said what huh. i'm look i'm looking to the right because i'm looking to the right because they standing outside the car this is my mom and she do just like this and i looked there and she did just like this and i was like did she even look at you or she mm-hmm. just like mm-hmm. she just i heard her make that funny noise with her mouth or something like that and i was done i was That's like I, I ain't got the patience i don't i be daggone i ain't, I ain't dealing with that ain't no way i was like i waited till i got to my daughter's house and was like no that no unacceptable do not introduce me to trash i can't <laughs> i cannot do it Mm-mm. he said you see the sisters mad at urkel jaleel white for marrying becky and now they calling him every name but a child of god they can't make why they so you got stop. urkel you got you got the man who is steve urkel the guy who they do no woman wanted come on get, you know but that woman i ain't gonna lie that woman is homely so that's, look, another story. T- that's a whole other story yeah time's out time's out i'm gonna defend the brother and and i'm still a little blackity black a little bit but here's the thing don't know sister ain't no sister desiring that that brother the brother that was urkel even when he was stefan urkel whatever when he went to the chamber they don't want him that brother went got him a becky a filthy stanky rich becky glory to him ain't mad at him what else he gonna do wow, i mean baby. it is what it is if that's the way the modern modern young women behave that's the way they behave i mean True. you can't if you cannot get that out of them and it's this generation is just it's just this generation something is wrong with this generation if they feel like this is how they present their image to the world it's trashy that it says something about them right he says what are we doing this is sad women acting masculine and some dudes acting feminine it's go it goes against nature it's over full bar db just count the days i date who i like i don't date who likes me i'll say it again i date who i like i don't date who likes me because when you date who likes you you end up in shit because they lust after you they crave after you and it just shows that you have lack of self-esteem because you just take whatever comes at you when you date who you like that means you vetted them you vetted their money their income their family everything so it's like okay you're actually my type this helps with the relationship being healthier you're actually interested in the person you're actually interested in their likes their hobbies it's just a better balance but i never liked them until they love me so i'm interested but i don't like you yet it's, it's a sign don't date the man that like you so these women toxic as hell uh, <laughs> but two things is true though like you say uh, mr walker tell men no don't don't be more into her than she is to you so she ain't lying yeah yeah that's so like that's that is funny like as wicked as she coming off she kind of co-signing what i say she's saying if a guy and here we go guys just pick up on the game so if you enter her and you drooling over her and you baby please baby baby please she she telling you she like you're gonna get played that's what fellas don't do it get a woman that's into you but this is you know? how it mostly is this is how what she said is how it mostly goes we go we, you you we pick the person that we normally like we go with them and then see how they respond if they respond the way we like then we'll start to like you but we if we just let anybody pick if a woman just lets anybody pick her that means she just goes where the wind blows whoever comes down the pike she's going to take which means her self-esteem is low if you choose the person that means you're making the choice you're making the decision you're making the decision to like that person not let that person just come along and maybe i like them and maybe i don't like them i see what she's saying she was like that way she's more in control but here's the thing people are getting pregnant and having babies with people who like them and people they don't, that they like they're still getting the same outcomes they're still getting pregnant okay and getting left so which one works better him being in you more or you being in him more because we, we still seeing the same outcomes well, well i think it's twofold i think for 
it's a different answer for women and men. I think for a woman, you should want this man to be into you, but as a man, it's, it's vice versa. Because mm -hmm. a woman, why would you want, that's why they in these positions where they want the man that's six figures, tall, dark, and handsome, that got all the women and he don't care about you. They want that guy instead of the guy that's beating a DM, sending edible arrangements. While that's your husband, this guy's into you. So for a woman, she should take the guy that's into her. But for a man, we don't tell you to be more into her. So it's a mm -hmm. it's a weird equation. It is. Oh, it's, right. it's, it is. It's a delicate dance if you want to be serious. And we talked about this here, the queen. Man, you went back and forth about chasing and all that. Right. I say guys should approach. But once a guy shows his interest in a woman, if that woman is serious, she needs to start pouring it on after that, after he comes and approaches. Right. Like, and that's the thing. Today's men, they go in, they approach in, they let their interest be known, they intent. Right. And right. then over the next couple of days, they still just pouring on, pouring on. And she ain't doing ish, right. but maybe responding to some texts. And that is wrong answer. After you sit there and show your interest, men, then you sit and wait for her to show some interest back. If she don't show the interest right. and you keep pursuing, she she gonna use that as a reason why she gonna dis uh disrespect you down the line. Don't mm -hmm. don't be chasing and chasing and chasing. Yeah, you gotta find somebody that's intentional. You have mm -hmm. to find a female that's intentional. Is she intent on trying to find a mate? Is he intent on trying to find a mate? Are they serious on trying to find someone? Because you should know whether this person is compatible with you before you get pregnant. Before you get pregnant, you can figure out whether you can go long term in a relationship with somebody before you get pregnant. Try to figure out if you can do it long term with this person. Is she intentional? Is she not intentional? Is she goofy? Is she in a club? You can figure all of that out within a week or two. And I agree. It, and give it a week. I agree. So here we go. I'm gonna let this woman go. The problem is y'all fault, heathen queen. Modern women did this to themselves. <laughs>